This time round, there are quite a number of um, hot topics, um, as you said. Um, for me, I, I think the hottest one of, it, of, of them all is um, the conformance and interoperability um, topic. Um, the other one, of course, is uh, cyber security. Um, the new topic on smart society, um, which relates to smart cities and uh, smart way of doing things, smart environment and so on, is, is, is one that is, I think is promising to attract a lot of attention uh, as, as we move on. Um, obviously, the, <coughs> the commonly evolving uh, e-applications, uh, when we talk about e-health, e-education, e <coughs> or as sometimes say, e-everything, <coughs> uh, relates very well to the smart uh, society, which <coughs> I think it is... Uh, it's one of the most uh, hottest topics, if, if, if I may say so. I think the first challenge really is to get the right people to participate in a very consistent way, especially uh, participation from uh, developing countries and also sometimes from even from developed countries. Because as you realize, um, ITUD, uh, you find the participation at the moment is largely from developing countries because perhaps um, the other um, sectors of ITU attract more of the private sector who happen to probably be uh, having a bigger presence in the developing country in the developed countries so i think the challenge really would be the getting the right people to participate and participate in a, in a consistent uh, way I think most of them perhaps is because they are not aware of the activities. Um, and just to tell them that uh, there are extremely relevant uh, issues that are being uh, under study um, within study group uh, two. And in fact, in the entire ITU, um, I think most of the academia is probably, particularly from developing countries, they are, are not aware of the activities that are being undertaken. Uh, I would tell them that this is the, the perfect opportunity for them to transform the knowledge uh, that is sitting within these institutions uh, to have a direct impact on, uh, on people's lives. And uh, in doing that, uh, they will also have an opportunity of raising the profile of their institutions and even individuals themselves who are participating. So it's basically a win-win situation for the academia. And I would really appeal uh, for them to uh, seriously consider enhancing their participation and uh, that uh, I am aware that um, the participation of the academia um, is very much encouraged in fact being you know sector I think the fees payable by the academia for being the sector members has been greatly reduced uh, so it's not like it is expensive so you can be a full member or you can participate as part of a delegation of a particular country. So there are opportunities to do that, and I think it will make quite a big difference uh, going forward.